Hello and welcome friends on this channel of Career Ed. And today I am reviewing the fourth week of the first course in the Data Analytics Professional Certificate from Google that is Foundations Data, Data Everywhere. And in this week four, it is mainly dealing with uh, some uh, visualization tools and also the data analytics tools. So firstly, I am going to um, tell you that this video consists of a short review and also after that there is a portion where I discuss the final quiz of week 4 with you. So be with me at, uh, at the last I am going to discuss the quizzes answers. So if you want 100% marks be with me. So there is uh, this week 4 start with introducing different type of data analytics tools that uh, which we discuss in the week 3 also. One is spreadsheets, second is databases and different different type of uh, uh, data analytics tools are there and here we are going through that so there is basic type of uh, introduction about these things are there because you are going to learn more and more about this in different uh, courses of this professional certificate this is the course one and uh, in the upcoming courses you got more and more information about this so there is in the, in the first section there is a mastering spreadsheet basics uh, section is there and there you got the knowledge of spreadsheet so what is a basically a spreadsheet is you we uh, you all know and i also know that what is a uh, spreadsheet Spreadsheet uh, is just like a Microsoft Excel and a Google Sheet where we uh, store our data in the tabular form and when or uh, how we store our data, how we uh, represent our data in different type of visualization tools in Excel or in Spreadsheet, it is, uh, it is soon in this course. So uh, if I share the notes, notes is uh, not in there in this week for reviewing because this is uh, mainly comes if you want the main thing in this course then you need to go through that and mainly the reading portion of this course because they consist of very variety of knowledge and very good so uh, I, I am just introducing all of this so firstly there is some uh, details about spreadsheets and after that they also give you some different type of resources from where you get more and more knowledge about this just like google sheets uh, are there microsoft as uh, excel uh, from Windows training means if you go through that link you find the whole thing about Microsoft Excel and that training is from Microsoft uh, uh, Microsoft team that is very great and you can uh, start learning also there is a Google sheet cheat sheet where you get different type of uh, share knowledge about uh, my uh, Google sheet means just like Microsoft Excel just like the spreadsheet and you got some tricks also so this is this is going to be very helpful if you go through all this material some of the basic things if you go through spreadsheets you do, you see different type of small small boxes where you you store your data so that boxes are called cells in spreadsheet that boxes are called cells and you can uh, you firstly see there is a, a, a descriptive uh, means a b c d are there here one two three are there so that you can directly access your address where you can uh, you store your data so this type of uh, spreadsheet you can see but if you doesn't get all up all idea about spreadsheet doesn't worry i am going to make a simpler video where i am going to just give you the basic idea of a spreadsheet and also there is a thing if there is a cell there is a if you go in a vertical that is called column if you go in a horizontal that is called uh, row there is a section about sql we uh, also pronounce it as SQL. So SQL, what is SQL? Structured Query Language. So in SQL, we do different type of activities uh, just like in spreadsheet. We doesn't store a lot of data. If there is a many, many data and if uh, we store then we uh, can't access uh, with, uh, with the tools which is provided by spreadsheet or Microsoft Excel or the any, uh, any spreadsheet. So we use SQL for that. When we go through SQL, we just import that data in SQL and after that we give some commands. Uh, the data is as same as Microsoft is, uh, as my spreadsheets and that data in that data we utilize uh, in our needs. We just uh, give some commands and to utilize that data. So how we utilize? There are three basic terms which is introduced in the section of SQL in this course. And I already introduced what is SQL is. Just a human use different languages communicate with others. So do computers structured query language lets data analysts talk with their databases. So this is the simple definition of SQL. 
and it is one of the most useful data analytics tools. So what is query? Uh, SQL, structured query language, what is query? A query is a basically a request for data or information from a database. So here there are three types of commands which I already, uh, already introduced you that is select from where. You select to choose the columns you want to return use from to choose the tables where the columns you want uh, you want are located and where to filter the certain information so i just uh, i just simplify this type of definition select what type of data you need okay uh, if you want any data from any uh, any table then you need to in the select form you need to just mention the column name in the next uh, in the next there is a, a from set, uh, from command and in the form you need to mention which table you you are using so mention that table name and at the last there is a where command where. so in a where you mention conditions and if you want if you want to introduce two condition on the same, uh, same data on the same uh, on the same column that you can use and or or not this type of things so next thing is it is about visualizing the data and uh, different type of tools which we used uh, to visualize our data and here you are just go you get many type of things just like which type of data used for different type of things so we use pie charts we use bar graph we uh, line graph and also there is a mapping there is an area graph so which type of graph is used for uh, different type of activities which is you get an idea uh, because there is given an examples where you get idea so if you want uh, if you want uh, if you want to show the locations then you use maps uh, in visualization tool if you want to show the charts uh, which uh, gives the some increasing or decreasing of the any data then you use line charts and if you want to just uh, if you want to show any customer segments uh, which is distributed so that is you can show from the pie chart and uh, if you want to show something uh, uh, in different uh, in different type of data for different type of uh, particular activities then you can use bar graph so this is the basic idea of using this four uh, very special uh, type of visualization tool which is available on uh, all the data analytics tools just like spreadsheets and also in tableau and other things so here it is also given the idea of tableau because uh, if you go through many and many more and more data then you doesn't you can't use uh, spreadsheets for that because the spreadsheets have a limitation they can't access many and many data and also they doesn't give access to diff multiple users so when you go through tableau or a looker then you uh, see diff uh, one more uh, there is a different interface where you get more and more data analytics tool more and more this type of thing just like you can just put your data and if you want that graph then it makes a graph which is uh, in different type of colors which may shoot your data analytics show this is uh, because of uh, that data many of the data analysts read uh, means study and learn uh, tableau and also looker and at the last there is a uh, a programming language called R which is very very special for all data analysts and they all go with R and R studio so this is these are the things which are uh, which is called data analytics tools and all the data analysts use this type of tools okay. now we are uh, at the uh, next section where it is introduced uh, about QClap in this QClap section they only introduce what is QClap and you are you are also going through the QClap because in QClap I you know when I uh, do QClap uh, activities quest then I only I already find the some things just like data analytics tools that is big query and other other things in the QClap section so so you are also going through the quick labs in uh, coming uh, courses uh, means upcoming courses of this professional certificate and here i just uh, see many uh, just introduction about the quick labs are there and also there is no question in the final quiz of the week four about the quick lab so it doesn't need to be worried about that uh, if there is a question about the quick labs in the final section there is no question and also quick lab is very easy if uh, you doesn't uh, know about the quick labs there is a first uh, yeah, first thing about uh, the quick labs is you just go through quick labs you make your account and you just uh, start there is the first lab which you can see on the top of the screen that is explore a uh, quick lab so you just go through that lab and when you go through that you just get an idea about again, what is QClaps is and also you go through that this type of materials which is available here this type of material is not as same as uh, you can see on direct the platform of QClaps because this is specifically designed by, uh, designed for us so that we get a simpler idea of QClaps so lastly I am going to discuss weekly challenge means the final quiz of the week 4 and you all are uh, I know you all are uh, waiting for this 
and now i am going to discuss the questions of the week 4 with you so firstly there is a given a graph a, a table where it is mentioned some uh, uh, above there is a descriptive and in the uh, in the here there is 1 to 3 which i already uh, uh, already mentioned that this is used for addressing any data which is available uh, there so here there is a first question and it is asked about uh, the columns labels in row 1 are called for so in the column 1 in this type in this table and mainly all the table in the first row there is are attributes which is highlighted and also means it is bold type letters and that uh, that is the name of the column so that is called attributes so you just select attributes in this so in the second question it is asked uh, the same type of table is there and here it is asked about the row 4 and it is asked that if we select the row 4 then what data we get uh, uh, if you get all the data about green border that there is a name there and yes if you select uh, if you select the row 4 you get all the details about green spot so this is the answers uh, there that answer is true the observation of the green border describes all four of the data in a row 4 and observation is of all the attributes of something contained in row and data table so this is the answer means you need to if there is a true and false then you just uh, select true and here there is next question this is also there is a given a table you need to just alphabetize the column b means there is a name of some cities are there and you need to alphabetize so what you do for alphabetize so there is a very simple thing we need to short and the short command is used to do alpha alphabetize any of the things so short range was used to alphabetize the city names in the column b shorting a range of data from a to z helps data analysts to organize and find data more QP. So this is the question 4 where you just select sort range. Next thing is fourth question it is about uh, the average population of the city. So the correct answer is is equals to average C2 uh, colon C11. Average returns and average values from a uh, selected range C2 to C11 in the specified range. So now there is a question about SQL also. So here there are very basic questions are there. In the following query from uh, is telling a database to filter out data from the order table. This is the question 5 and here it is uh, mentioned that select star from orders and if you use start in select then you are choosing all the columns this is a basic idea and it is uh, also here it is given that uh, in the following query uh, from uh, is telling database to filter out data from orders table so we doesn't use from to filter we use where to filter any data so, yeah. so here it is not correct so this is a false answer in a query data analyst use from to indicate the table from which the data will be retrieved so this is the answer the sixth question is about there is a name which is uh, here just getting you you are writing a query that asks uh, that, that asks a database to retrieve data about the customer with identification number 5656 the column name to customer identification number is customer id what is the correct sql clause so uh, which type of condition you are going to give so that you get the that information about the customer which have identification number 5656 so if you get this question then you just select the which is uh, the answer which is available on the, your screen so the next question the seventh question is the given there are some pie charts and here it is called uh, in the there is a there is a bar graph and it's called it's uh, line chart so it is correct or not so if there is a bar graph then you doesn't call it line chart because line chart is totally different and you can see the line chart in uh, you know, which I am uh, showing in on the screen and uh, the, this is called a bar graph and the answer uh, you can select false and so this is a column chart it is also called column chart and column chart is effective at demonstrating the differences between several items in a specific range of values so at the next there is a given one more graph which is uh, which is a line graph and it is called here it is mentioned that this is an area chart not area uh, when you are uh, displaying area chart then when you just draw a line then you just color it uh, the uh, beneath portion so that you just show that area is in your consideration so here it is not colored so that means this is a line graph and line uh, here it is also a true false question and this is uh, and it is just saying in the question it is asking that it if it is a line chart and this is a wrong answer because this is an area chart so so just uh, select false answer this is a line chart mm, and line charts are effective for illustrating trends and patterns such as how population changes over time so this is a whole about the quiz and i think 
you also get 100% after uh, watching this video and if you want more and more videos on different type of courses so just um, subscribe my channel like this video and share with your friends it motivates me to make more and more videos for you and that's much in this video thanks for watching dhanyawad